Hey yo everyone, it's Fishy Wizard 5 here, and it's about time for another episode of Bossing on a Budget. So for this video, we're covering one of my all-time favorite bosses, the boss that shows up right at the uh, start of the Beast Sab. It's uh, Araxi, or Araxor as well. So they have a recommended combo level of 120, and a recommended group size of 2. And as you guys can see, I kind of picked the worst rotation to go on. But that's okay, because I'm always up for a challenge. So we're going to have uh, 240k to work with. And let's see what I bought. So I decided for this one, I'm going to use ranged. because You can use any style out of Raxor, but ranged, I'd say, is definitely the easiest. Just because you, know, you don't have to run from all the cleaves and everything. And also, it's just, you take less damage, I I'd say. So I got some Sagis. For around, uh, you know, 26k for 50 of them. I got 50 because I don't, I just don't want to run out of ammo at these guys. Uh, because it's just going to be annoying if I have to pick up Sagis off the ground. So 50 of them for 26k. And I got these offhand dragon javelins. I, I don't know why I always get scammed. These things were like 300 GP, uh, but I had to buy 10 of them for 10k. So they're 1k each. Uh, but anyways, it's uh, 10k for these dragon javelins. I don't, I only bought 10 because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use that many. Uh, and I got a Royal Dragon Knight set for 22k. It, this bought for really cheap, so I'm happy with that. Uh, it's, this is like the cheapest and most effective armor I could use. I, I didn't want to use Spine because I actually want some sort of defense at a Raxor, so uh, he doesn't hit me as much. And I decided I'm going to need an Overload, especially if you're ranging, because if you guys didn't know, uh, each style of a Raxor which, uh, has a different passive effect. So the Magical Raxor, which is the one that I'm going to be fighting, has the passive effect where you uh, sh uh, he drains your stats. So I'm going to need an overload to constantly refresh my stats. So Super Attack for 3k, Super Strength for around 7k, these things drop, thank you. Super Defense for around 5k, Super Magic for around 4k, and a Super Ranging for around uh, 11k. Alright, let's buy the rest. Alright, and for the second uh, purchasing screen that I have, I have the rest of the ingredients for the Overload, which is the, you know, Avento for 2.3k, the Dorfwe for 2.7k, the Lantadime for 2.4k, or 3.4k, the Mudderoon for 700gp, and the Grenwell Spikes for 4k, oh, and the Dorf, uh, Torstal for around 4k as well. So this is my overload, and uh, I also need an anti-poison plus plus. I only need uh, about one dose because you only need it for the end at Araxi because Arax Araxor, at least the magic Araxor, will not poison you throughout the whole kill. So one dose for around 2.2k, uh, and I got three super restores for 17k. All right, and let's buy the rest of the stuff. Alright, and for the last uh, screen of purchasing items, I bought four Cerebrews because I feel like I'm going to need some additional healing other than food for around 42k. I have a Pakyak pouch for 4k, and if I did my math correctly, I should have around I should have the, um, the space for 49 Great White Sharks for around 56k. Um, yeah, I wanted to get this over, um, you know, like normal sharks because I had some fair bit of money that, and these, these heal an additional 100 versus the normal one. And I had around 10k left. I was, I was surprised because I thought this would spend all my money, but it didn't. So I decided to get an Amulet of Glory, uh, uncharged for around 10k. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, let's, uh, I'm going to reorganize my inventory and actually let me make the overload because this inventory is an absolute mess. Let me put this on. Alright, let's make the super attack. Super, I mean, extreme attack. Extreme, uh, extreme strength, extreme defense. Hope that's not it. Uh, extreme ranging. Crush the mother rune. Extreme magic. And overload. Put this here. I'm going to exchange the set. Exchange that. Uh, summon my yak, put on all this gear, I don't need these potions, some orts, nice, 
I'll need these potions, and I'm gonna arrange my inventory like so, okay, or not. Mm -hmm. Alright, and now if I hit collect, we guess items. Interact, store. Okay, I'm gonna store this twice, but oh well. Collect items. Store. And last bit. Alright, there we go. So I hope this is enough food. I know I, I'm going on like the worst rotation. But yeah, should be I, I have I have good hopes. So let's go to Raxor. Okay, before we go in, I actually completely forgot that I allowed myself to uh, use some extra items. So I actually don't need an, uh, a shark. I can get my Excalibur. Uh, I can get my Ring of Vigor. Uh, put that on. I'm gonna use a Sharpshooter, which should be sh uh, somewhere near. Nope, it's not. Sharpshooter. And I'm gonna use a uh, Scrimshaw of Ranging because I want that extra accuracy. So yeah, this is my gear, as you guys can see. All the stuff that I bought, plus the Vigor, Ranging, Scrimshaw, and Aura. And the Excalibur, which I'll just put over here because I I normally have a lot of other stuff here, but I just like having it in this one spot in my inventory. And yes, this is the uh, superior scrimshaw of ranging, so this is completely free. You just have to oh, you just, this lag. You just have to make it from ports. All right, is this world good? Oh, this world is good. All right, I'm just gonna go right into the kill then. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out because I really like having this zoomed out, especially for these large bosses. Let's just go right in. No, enter by myself. Let me burn this web. Come on, come on. Oh, he spawned melee. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not doing this in melee. Uh, be right back. I'm gonna just lobby or something. So if you guys don't know how to lobby out of a Raxor, all you do is just burn a web down, surge all the way down, get out of combat, and hit lobby. And you're out. You know, this reminds me of the time uh, before Araxite Pheromones came out, and everyone just had to keep going in and lobbying in order to get the uh, correct style spawn. And that's pretty much what I have to do for this. So let's see what we get. Come on. A melee again! Oh my god. Alright, be right back. Come on. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Can I get something other than melee, please? No, apparently I can't. Oh, is that magic? I think that's magic. Hey, okay, sweet. Finally. All right, let me turn on my aura and my scrim. Anticipate now. Oh, okay, or not. Okay. Can overload so before I forget. I only took like five tries to get it, but we're here. No freedom. Okay, he's either gonna cocoon me or off, or either off. So when he does the uh, web, I like to uh, storm chart and provoke to get an additional two abilities worth of adrenaline. I'm back on now. And there's death swiftness. Oh, I don't have an adrenaline pot. Oh well. Who needs them? Gonna anticipate now. I need to start really dealing some damage because he's at like 80k. <laughs> I, I the web's almost burned and he's at like 80k HP. Jeez. All right, it's okay. I'm gonna. Uh, hey, AK tendril. I'm going to. Uh, what's it called? Excalibur. Because I might have to Excalibur a few times. Spam click to get out of that. Yeah, this is why I bought I brought uh, a lot of potions because I mean a lot of uh, restores because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be needing them. And anticipate. Okay, nice. Okay, I ran out of my attack range. That was weird. The snapshot didn't hit at the same time. Okay, freedom now. 
You know what? Like the like I, I knew the damage was gonna be bad, but it's not that bad. But yes, it's taken a bit. But I'm using the, you know a tier seventy two Seiji. I'm gonna snipe now. I should hit. Yes. No, I actually haven't ranged a Raxor in a very long time. I usually use magic because one, magic is my favorite style, and two, uh, you have a slightly increased chance for a Rax uh, fangs over anything else when you use magic. And you know the fangs are pretty much the only valuable, uh, valuable uh, what's it called, like weapon piece. Okay, so he's, so I know he's gonna do uh, eggs first. It's guaranteed. Always starts with eggs on uh, the top path. So I'm gonna eat a shark because I'm getting a little bit low. And he either is going to spawn minions or cleave or healing web. So I'm gonna anticipate in case he cleaves me. There's the cleave. This is uh, you know what, like I don't like it when he stalls the minions, but honestly, like the, this kill time is gonna be pretty slow so it's actually not that big of a deal so I'm not going to anticipate because I know the next one is always going to be eggs so eggs there it is I'm going to death swiftness why not uh, drinking a little bit of my prayers is not good I'm going to anticipate now rapid fire eat up, eat up a bit just a bit there's the minions thank you okay so the third spider is going to be the there it is. It's going to be the special. You know what? I'm going to uh, just hit that up with a frag shot. Frag shot is really good for the mirror backs because the mirror backs are like melee spiders, so they always they always walk your bleed for you, basically, unless you're MD for some reason. Okay, I'm going to anticipate after I snipe. Eat up, eat up a bit. Yeah, just eat up. Where's the spider spawn? There we go. I'm going to use uh, Devotion, so Devotion is really good for when the spiders pop up, oops, sorry for the airplane, um, because you get an extended Devotion timer because of the spiders, although I used it a little bit late because the Devotion is going to get cancelled as you see Rise the, as Rise the Egg spawn, because the eggs cancel uh, all your abilities, all your defenses. Alright, so two, two out of uh, four have spawned, and that's pretty good because I got pretty much half his HP down. I didn't even anticipate, so yeah, good thing he didn't, uh... Oh, jeez, I'm getting reflected by the mirror back. It's a good thing he didn't cleave. I'm gonna, uh... Gonna drop a bleed on this, these spiders. Ah, they hurt. They hurt through my dehyde. Who would have known? Alright, I'm gonna bombardment this pile. Hopefully hit. So at least these Sagis are pretty, they're not missing at all on the minions, which is very good. I was a little bit worried that I would not be able to kill the minions, like, very quickly, because they do uh, deal quite a bit of damage. So on the last, uh, the fourth uh, minion spawn for Solo, he doesn't spawn any specials, so it's good to know. I don't know why Devotion there, because it's going to get cancelled, like, right now. It's going to get cancelled right as those eggs spawn. There are the eggs, okay. I should have just used uh, debilitate, but oh well. How am I doing on ammo, by the way? Okay, I used one Sagi and no javelins. Awesome. I'm gonna anticipate because uh, he's gonna do a cleave or a web right now because I have no more or or that goon. Oh, forgot about that. Oh, oh my, my overload ran out. All right. So we're still doing good. I I, I feel like we're doing very good on supplies. Got a tendril because why not? Hit. That was a weak tendril, but oh well. Let me get on the eggs. I hope I'm standing on it. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, I am. Okay. Okay, I'm going to surge down the path. So now in path three, since acid is the other path, I need to make sure he absorbs four acid spiders because I do not want Araxi to gain any enrage. So Araxi is going to be hard enough as it is. Let me. Did I fill my yak? I did. Okay, good. I'm going to anticipate, but he should, okay, or not, I'm just not going to anticipate. Anticipate now, though, I want to get over here. This is really annoying because his his range is longer than my range, but, oh, well, that's off. I need off. It's what I get for using, like, a five space, uh, actually, no, the, the Sagi is, like, I think nine or ten space range, I think nine, but the, uh, 
the offhand javelin is like five so i have so in order to attack i need to run within uh five because it's the shortest ranged weapon that i have on anyways that's a one at spider i'm gonna run away from that he's not spawning any of his assets spider, which is slightly con okay all right yeah that's that's what i get for trying to attack with the javelin I'm sorry about that everyone that was a very easy uh, easily uh, avoidable death and the reason why I did not avoid that is because I am I am so used to attacking like I use the noxious longbow uh, for a Raxor normally and that bow has nine space range so you can easily just keep attacking while uh, while the the what is it called the one of spiders on you but not with the Sagi, because it only has 5 space range. Or the Javelin, I should say. Anyways, let's do this again. Freedom, I'm going to uh, Death Swiftness ASAP. I'm going to uh, Excalibur, because Excalibur is really nice. Oh, I didn't turn my my uh, Scrimmage on. I'm going to anticipate now. Hopefully hit. Oh, okay, don't hit. Yeah, okay. Uh, Storm Shard. Provoke. And I'm gonna back on now. A little too soon, but oh well. I just wanna get some damage. Alright, I'm gonna a needle strike and tendril hit. Please hit. Nice. Freedom. Get out of that. A snapshot, nope. Snipe, hit, please. Oh my god. I feel like I have worse accuracy than uh, the first time, but. Might just be me. Okay, well, I just bled that, but that's okay. Bled the web. Actually, ble bleeding the web is not actually that bad because, you know, you get. You force him to not. You force him to not heal because he doesn't heal when he takes damage in the healing web. It's just that, um, it's not a good habit to do that because when you get to higher enrages, he reflects more damage back to you in the higher in rage you are so if you bleed the web at like you know 200 to 300 in rage it's going to really hurt when you, it reflects back to you hit 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 ah nice i'm so, I'm so thankful these tendrils are all hitting although it's kind of taking a toll on my food so i don't know if that's actually the best idea i think i think the first time or the last time uh yeah the, the first time i tried this I got to the second phase without eating anything, but oh well. I, I I think we'll be fine. Just just gotta DPS him down a little bit more. Gonna anticipate. Okay. Oh, okay. actually, I actually did not mean to phase him right that to start the next phase, but ran a little bit too far. I really don't like these two two egg spawns because it does a little bit more damage. Gonna uh, freedom now because I already anticipated for whatever reason. Okay, good spiders. I'm gonna Devo. Devo so I can. Oh, let me kill it. Pulsing before it heals. Oh, too late. Already healed. So I was gonna do spider spawn right about now. I'm just checking if I uh, dropped any drag uh, dragon javelins because I have way more javelin, uh, way more sagies than javelins, so it doesn't matter if I lose some sagies. I'm gonna rapid fire even though he might cleave me. Oh well. Actually I'm gonna anticipate. Yeah. Okay, he's stalling, but that's that's, a, that's quite alright. Gonna death swiftness. I might as well pick up this Sagi. Not really doing anything else right now. Alright. Deal some damage in this swiftness. He's gonna do eggs, so. No problem about freedoming. All right. Oh, nice. I don't even have to leave my uh, death swiftness. Oh, he's meleeing me. Oh, it hurts. Let me pray melee because he does it again. Nope. Okay. Anticipate now. Is that a javelin? Oh, that is a javelin. Okay, I need to pick that up. There's the spiders. I'm going to devo again. Don't melee me. Don't melee me. Let me get the... Uh, I didn't save a frag shot for that. Oh, the melee. I'm always scared that the melee's gonna hit like a 2k through my prayer. I mean, through my prayer. Just a 2k and just, uh, just drop me. 
All right, I'm not gonna uh, attack these guys because I know I I know that this this javelin is not gonna have enough range to hit them. I don't want to like run off my eggs and take a 3k. Don't anticipate. Okay, is this the one? No, this, this is one more after this. Let me kill the spider. I don't want to snapshot it. So I don't want it to heal a Raxor. Gonna combust. I'm not combust. Uh, frag shot this bladed spider for some extra damage because it walked the bleed for me where's the last bladed spider oh it died to the eggs i don't anticipate God, I'm, i feel like i'm killing him way slower this time i don't know what's up okay last one last spider spawn Ooh. okay it's okay, it's okay. Just gonna kill the rest of these minions. Get on one of these eggs. The uh the explosion radius for the the egg bomb well it, it's 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 a it's a three by three square. It makes a three by three square. So as long as you stand on any egg or all the eggs encompass a three by three square uh from where you are standing. Oh no 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 no! no. That, I said that wrong. It's a five by five square, and as long as the eggs encompass the five by five square you are standing on, then it'll it'll hit all the eggs. Freedom now because okay okay no I freaked that up. Uh okay yeah I don't know what I'm doing I'm just like doing a jig over here okay I ran out of gray white sharks. I don't know why I'm not brewing. I don't I guess I just don't need to brew. Go anticipate now though because he's gonna do a spec. There's the cleave. Get up my oh I have my overload right now. I didn't even realize. Alright, just gonna do one more hit for I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get the eggs to spawn because why not? It's a free Like getting the eggs to spawn, it's basically a free special because you know it's not gonna be uh it's not gonna be one where you need to anticipate your freedom. So it's nice. Alright, I'm just gonna go all the way down here and I'm gonna quickly attack so I don't lose my adrenaline. Walk that bleed. Dissipate now, because I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm gonna drink a prayer. There's the spiders. I want these acidic spiders to spawn. Oh my god, this is annoying because I did not think the the, the attack range would be as much as an issue as it is. I mean, it's not really an issue like that. It's it's just annoying, honestly, because like I just have to keep running back and forth. Like I death swiftness over here, and I have to run over here to even hit him. <laughs> All right, that's good. I got my next spider spawn. Oh, I should try and tendril, but yeah, I'll tendril. If if he healing webs now, I will be very sad. Okay, and I missed. Oh well, he healing web then. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lure the spiders yet because. Uh, if you lower the, the if you lower the spiders now, every spider that he absorbs, he will gain 10% uh, in rage. So I'm just gonna lower them at the very lowest point. Anticipate now. Hopefully he'll spawn another spider. No, we just, okay. Spawn the one at spider, but I will be much more prepared this time. Come on. I really need to kill him fast. Oh, jeez, that lag. Okay, I was like, what happened? Okay, I, I need to start, uh, oh, there's a third spider. Oh, man. Okay. I'm gonna anticipate. I just realized I'm running a little bit low on, uh, prayer, so I might wanna, uh, I might wanna, like, just turn off this, actually. I know I know it's, like, a bad, it sounds like a bad idea because I'm gonna do less damage, but I really don't wanna run out of prayer for a Raxi. That's just gonna be really awful. Oh, okay, I'm gonna off. Oh, did I absorb? Oh, I accidentally absorbed the two spiders. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Okay, I'm going to death witness again. Yeah, I, I definitely need to have at least, like, a couple of doses for Raxi. Oh, man. Because I don't want to run out. It's going to be painful. Freedom. So... These are the, all the spiders. There's no more spiders after this. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it absorbs the last two spiders. Maybe get a snapshot in. Uh, 
I'm gonna anticipate. Oh, 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 no, just get off. Okay, yeah. I am really trying to conserve prayer at this point. I, I didn't think that the prayer... Yeah, I should I should have, like, got one less brew and one more prayer. Oh, jeez. Okay, I need to stop, like... Actually, I'm, I'm going to drink my brews now because I need to start building. I'm just going to brew up to full or around full. Just die. Come on. Die, Araxor. Thank you. Okay. Araxy. Last part of the fight. Let's go. How much food do I have left on my yak? I'm going to surge to stall my adrenaline. Uh, I'm going to drink the, my last overload dose and drink my anti-poison. I have no more food left in my yak. So let's anticipate now. So I'm actually, I'm not going to uh, death swiftness right this moment because... Oh, oh, need off. Oh my god, this lag. You know what? I actually need it. I need to uh, death swiftness now. I'm, I'm going to death swiftness for this part and I'm going to onslaught for the next part. Because I am very low on prayer and I need to just kill kill her fast. Freedom now. Come yeah, on. Eat up. There we go. Plus I don't have uh, I don't have replenish, uh, replenishment or adrenaline potions. So it's kind of problematic to uh, it's problematic to oh to death swiftness at the end because I don't have a fast way to get my adrenaline back. All right, we're 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 really run, running on fumes here in terms of prayer. Food, it's it's all right. I, I have a decent amount of food. Just the prayer is kind of an issue. So I'm just gonna onslaught right at like 25-ish k. Because honestly, I'm not expecting the, the a Sagi onslaught to deal too much damage. Maybe I'll uh, do a. I'm gonna do a what's it called? A devotion right before as well. I'll eat up one more time. Get a devotion. Actually, I can eat up another time. Get my prayer switches correct. Thank you. And onslaught go. Actually, I'm gonna uh, Excalibur as well. Come on, come on, hit all these hits. Hit onslaught, hit. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. Ah, oh, yes. Ah. There we go. Whew. Off. And let's see what we get for loot. Wow, it loaded really slowly, but okay. Eh, this is alright, 400k. Oh, let's get out of here. So, what have we learned in this episode? Well, if you're not bringing super prayer renewals or replenishment potions, better bring a lot of prayer because I actually, okay, I did use a lot of my food, but I, you see, I had a fair bit of excess. I didn't even use two of these brews. So I should have definitely brought a little bit more prayer. That was a little, uh, little scary at the end there. But we made it. So Araxor. And we even did it, I would say, on the hardest rotation. So, you know, I, I think if you can kill Araxor, if I could kill Araxor on this rotation with, with, uh, with this gear, then I could do it on any rotation. And so could all of you. So Araxor, I can say, and Araxi can be killed on a budget. Thanks everyone for watching, leave a like and comment down below if you uh, enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more content. Hope you all have a sweet and sour day.